For most people with diabetes, managing the disease revolves around needles, especially those who have to take insulin. Some diabetics, though, are now keeping their sugar in check with a nearly needle-free option. Here's health editor Dr. Maria Simbra. When Ellen Morrow was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, it meant facing a lifelong fear of hers, needles. I was um, petrified of needles. Because her body no longer produces insulin on its own, Ellen is completely dependent on artificial insulin. It was really a daunting thing to constantly have to take shots five times a day and to prick your finger like ten times a day and it it really just seemed like it was going to be a long and, and brutal road. It was until she found out about insulin that she could inhale. And injecting insulin is a big barrier for some people and so this provides an intermediate step. Dr. Aaron Kershaw is the head of endocrinology at UPMC. Inhaled insulin has been around for a while, but Dr. Kershaw says a lot of patients didn't like it in the beginning. The initial formulations um, had a delivery device that was very large and very cumbersome, very complicated for patients to understand how to use properly. It also used a powdered type of insulin that made getting the right dose difficult and caused lung problems. Now the inhaler you use is much smaller and the insulin comes in a capsule, making dosing easier. Though you do still have to adjust the dosage based on your blood sugar readings. Once you inhale, the insulin is rapidly absorbed. It's more potent, so you need less of it, and it's less irritating to the lungs. You still have to take one long-acting insulin shot each morning, but... This would be a way for people to cover their short-term needs throughout the day. Like with meals, Ellen simply takes a puff every time she eats. Nobody really wants to have to pull out a needle and like find a spot that they can give themselves an injection um, in the middle of a restaurant. And while doctors say it's not for everyone, especially for people with COPD or asthma, Ellen says it's been great for her. There's less stress and less worry and you can just do your little puff for five seconds and move on. The bottom line is that the most important thing for people with diabetes is to be able to control their diabetes the best that they can with minimal interference with their day-to-day -day life. And if an individual feels that taking insulin through an inhaled route is easier and better for them and helps them achieve better control, then that is all that matters, really. I'm Dr. Maria Sembra, KDKA TV News.